What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another Two Minute Tuesday. Today we are talking about collateralized debt obligations, CDOs. And so without any further ado, let's get straight into it. As with all jargon, it helps if we break it up. So collateralized debt obligation. Let's start with the first term, collateral. What does collateral mean? For example, if I borrow a million pounds from the bank in order to purchase a house, they'll say, sure, but if you can't pay us back the million pounds, we're gonna take your property. In this case, the property is the collateral for the loan. In other words, the loan of one million pounds is being collateralized by the house or the property. You're just pledging security. Secondly, we've got debt. Debt is basically borrowed money or money that is due payment in the future. Debt is also known as a loan, for example. And last but not least, we've got obligation. So an obligation is when you are morally or legally bound. So you're committed, you need to do something basically. You're obliged or you are tied to a commitment. You need to do something. So that's collateralized debt obligation. If we stick them all together, we get a CDO. A CDO is basically a complex financial product that consists of lots of different loans and assets packaged together. So that package is called a CDO. So let's say we have hundreds of thousands of different homeowners. They've all taken out loans or mortgages from the bank. What the bank can do is pull all of those mortgages together into a package or a tranche and then put a price on it and then sell that to other buyers or other investors. Now that package is called a CDO. It's a collateralized debt obligation. If the package just consists of mortgages, then it will be called a mortgage backed security. It's a mortgage backed security. It's a security, which is a financial instrument that consists of mortgages and that's what it derives its underlying value from, a mortgage backed security. However, that's just one type of CDO. Other types of CDOs include asset backed securities in which the underlying asset isn't just mortgages. It might consist of credit card debt, corporate debt, so on and so forth. A CDO is considered a derivative. For those of you wondering what a derivative is, it's basically a financial product that derives its value from an underlying asset. In this case, it might be mortgages or credit card loans or credit card debt or corporate debt, so on and so forth. And it's important to know this because these assets become the collateral if the loan defaults. Although they can be risky, CDOs are a great tool for shifting risk away from you and freeing up capital. Unlike a mortgage on a house, a CDO is not a product that you can touch or see in order to derive its value. Quantitatives or quants, they write computer programs that model the value of the loans within a package in order to price that CDO. Different tranches exist in order to cater to different risk appetites. So some investors might want to buy high quality CDOs, some might want to buy low quality CDOs and so this is why different tranches exist in order to cater to those different risk appetites of investors. The three main tranches are senior, the best quality, then you've got mezzanine which is the second best quality and then you've got equity which is the most riskiest of the three levels. The safer the debt the less likely of default and the riskier the more likely of a potential default. Three benefits of selling CDOs, one you shift the risk to investors, two you free up some capital and free you receive cash which you can use to purchase and sell more CDOs and that is it that is this week's two minute Tuesday if you learn anything in this video make sure you give it a thumbs up hit that like button by doing so you're basically telling YouTube that this video is worth watching so they can share it to more and more people so please do hit the like button do consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already if you have subscribed do turn on post notifications I release two free videos every week so you don't want to miss any of those and leave an emoji in the comments so that I know you made it this far Thanks for watching and make sure you tune in next week to learn another financial term, concept or idea in plain English. Thank you. Done.